For infants to have the best possible start in life, obstetricians must be excellently prepared for complications during delivery. Competently mastering operative vaginal delivery methods saves lives. Not every day, but every life counts. In most countries of the world, 30% of infants are delivered by cesarean section, and it's an upward trend. Only one of every hundred infants is delivered by forceps. In every second case, an operative vaginal delivery would be more advisable than a cesarean section. SIM-1 is the first birth simulator that focuses on the concerns of obstetrics. As an educational instrument, it takes up diverse methods of teaching. Even today, operative vaginal deliveries are a standard part of obstetrics. Training for these forms of delivery includes vacuum extractor delivery and forceps delivery. Using the methods available to date, it is not possible to train colleagues in a manner that is sufficiently dynamic. So far all we have at our disposal are static phantom models. Simone is the first to enable us to apply the correct traction force in the proper direction. This thereby gives our young colleagues the confidence for working with live patients. Roughly 30% of all deliveries end with a cesarean section, 5% with a vacuum extractor, and 1% with the forceps. Every type of operative delivery is justified. The decision for one delivery method should depend solely on medical indication and not upon commercial aspects. In order to be able to decide on the right delivery method, all obstetricians must confidently master the operative techniques. Delivery by means of cesarean section involves risks for both mother and infant, long-lasting scar pain, adhesion of the uterus, and at worst, mortality caused by infection can be the consequences. The forceps and vacuum extractor, by contrast, support physiological vaginal delivery. Hospitals are increasingly using cesarean sections, since it makes delivery easy to plan and is a profitable cost factor for the hospital. During the practical phase of their education, obstetricians are prepared for the most common and most important procedures in the delivery room. They train directly on live mother and infant. Obstetrical operations are required by the medical specialist regulations on further education, but the physicians do not experience all pathologies. Extensive training with a simulator optimally prepares the obstetricians even for these rare complications. Such cases are even stressful for experienced physicians. No one would dream of handing a fully occupied passenger jet over to a pilot without training in flight simulators. The same applies for physicians. Practice on the simulator so you can take correct action on the patient. As an educational instrument, it takes up diverse methods of teaching. Using model-oriented training, technical skill with a forceps and vacuum extractor is gained in a realistic way. Using the method of problem-based training, obstetricians learn to correctly assess and deal with complications during delivery. For international use, the software provides a selection of various languages. Through the use of modern removable media such as a CF card, the simulator is always at the cutting edge of technology. All future developments are integrated in the device by updating the software.
The software is constantly being further developed with the aid of obstetricians. University instructors have a major say in the further development, for the use of Simone enables them to convey knowledge in a new way. Supplemental scenarios, such as the simulation of drug intolerances, are planned. The unique thing about Simone is that the simulator combines all of the tools the physician needs. During an actual delivery, the physician focuses on the interplay of anamnesis, symptoms, and diagnosis. The same occurs during simulation. The CTG and partogram and the lab results are coordinated. The look inside is also very helpful as it makes the natural childbirthing mechanisms three-dimensional. Practical use will reveal what supplements are advisable and necessary. Practical didactic experience and the further development of the simulation device go hand in hand. In 10 years, Simone will be even more up to date and more complex than it is today. Although contractions support operative vaginal delivery, they demand a great deal of strength from the user. Simone reproduces this realistically. Therefore, in the simulation device, the fetus is operated by a powerful motor. An emergency cutoff switch ensures safe use at all times. The unique things about the simulator are the patented true-to-life feel and comprehensive software which reproduces the reactions of the patients, mother and infant, to the user's medical interventions. Operating the simulator is simple. Different colors are used for the basic system settings, the operating controls for instructors, and the menu bar for the learners, the users of the delivery simulation. In this way, information about anamnesis, diagnosis, and intervention options are retrievable. The buttons are used to individually set diverse parameters, such as graphic portrayal, sound volume, and so forth. Background information and virtual diagnostic devices provide the users with all the information they need to be able to skillfully assess the conditions of mother and fetus. For example, if a long period of time passes during delivery without any progress, they could administer oxytocin, or perhaps decide for an amniotomy or episiotomy. If the threshold is exceeded, the frequency and strength of contractions increase time delayed, which can be seen very well in the CTG on the screen. The waiting time can be bridged using fast forward mode. The birth simulator offers two types of scenarios which are also color coded. For model-oriented learning, hands-on skill handling the forceps and vacuum extractor are trained. For problem-oriented learning, an entire delivery must be managed. Each woman stands for a delivery scenario with specific complications. The supervisor of the exercise can decide on the basis of the anamnesis which complication in the selected scenario the learner will encounter. The fontanelles and the sagittal suture can be felt on the fetal head. Together with the palpable ischial spine, the user learns to ascertain the position of the leading point and the position of the fetus. 
operative vaginal delivery should not be initiated until the fetal head has reached the pelvic introitus or pelvic floor. The position of the fetus is ascertained as in real life by diagnosing the fetal head station and identifying the sagittal suture and fontanelles. Now a correct application of the tool can be practiced. As soon as it is ensured that no maternal soft tissue is interposed, extraction can commence. For both types of operative vaginal delivery, in particular traction, direction and force are trained. Since the head must first pass through the symphysis, it is important that the instrument be applied at the correct angle. Of course, as little force should be expended as possible in order to prevent injury to the fetus. For problem-oriented learning, an entire delivery must be managed. This training unit simulates possible emergencies. Just like in real life, various diagnostic devices and possible interventions are available. Based on these, the learner can quickly assess the situation and decide whether action must be taken and if so, how and when. Depending on which intervention the learner decides on, the software reacts in variable ways to each measure taken. In order to additionally put the user under realistic stress, the fetal heart and mother's voice can be heard. Various interventions are available. Just like in real life, not every birth here ends with an operative vaginal delivery. The display of the APGAR score at the end of the delivery provides information about the success of birth management. It will be poorer if the user was overly hesitant in taking measures. Every single measure taken during delivery is stored and is available on the debriefing screen. The CTG, Partogram, and the 3D representation are also synchronous here. All key situations can be evaluated at leisure and discussed by the plenum. Well, I have to say that practicing on Simone has made me feel much more confident about handling the vacuum extractor and forceps during delivery. The stimulus for this development and the basic technical research for the parturition mechanics of the simulators came from the Technical University Munich's Central Institute for Medical Technology. The Institute, and in particular Professor Dr. K.T.M. Schneider, were repeatedly involved in the project. The renowned company 3B Scientific Deutschland manufactures and distributes Simone. 3B Scientific is the world's leading provider of educational materials in the anatomy market. Due to its great international success, the company was added to the circle of hidden champions. This is a special honor for the medium-sized company, which has stood as a guarantor of the highest quality since 1948. Internationally, 800 employees are working to remain the market leader and to help people.
The first birth simulators at the Technical University of Munich were created as part of my thesis and dissertation here, and were therefore the basis for further development of a product ready for serial production by 3B Scientific, the simulator we see here today. I'm delighted since this simulator is a very complex product of engineering that, because of its multimodality, has to fulfill a number of interfaces for the user. The visual interface is the graphic. There's a feel and there are sounds. All of these interfaces have to be operated by a complex model so that they have a realistic effect and put users in a virtual delivery room. So I'm extremely happy that the company has been able to begin serial production of a product from which everyone can profit today.